today I am at uh, Q Botanical Garden, London. I am very glad to see, have the experience of this garden, which I have got dream since long time to visit this garden. You know, with the houses, maximum floral and natural biodiversity of the world. That is why it is very famous. And you can see a lot of collections here, which you cannot see in other places in regards of no coral biodiversity. And whatever opportunity I'll get, I'll show the viewers also the very important plants, how beautifully they have, how fish and plants beautifully they have conserved here, and giving awareness to the public world over so that they can conserve our important floral species and which are required to protect our environment basically to save the art if they are not there we will not be able to live on this art everybody knows it the royal botanic gardens q is located in southwest london just 16 km from central london it spreads over an area of 132 hectares and houses 20,000 different plant species procured from different parts of the world. So it may be considered to be the most diverse spot on earth. That is why it was officially celebrated by the famous Guinness World Record Book in 2022. Since 2003, it has been also UNESCO World Heritage Site for its unique, rich botanic collections, landscape, art, architecture, and for its science and ideas evolved since its inception. It had a royal beginning as a private garden which was founded by Princess Augusta in 1759 with five acres of land planted. It was subsequently extended by incorporating the royal adjoining estates which had already grown up uncommon trees. The crown transferred it to the nation in 1840. Sir William Hawker was the first of its official director who opened the gardens for public recreation and education. Later on, his son Joseph Delton Hawker, a well-known botanist, became its director who made Q the center of global plant exchange network. It is a public body and charity and part of its annual cost is met by the UK government. Its mission is to understand and protect plants and fungi for the well-being of people and the future of all life on earth. Its goal is to stop the extinction crisis and help create a world where nature is protected, valued and managed sustainably. To achieve this goal, Q is working with its international partners. Q Gardens serve both recreational and scientific purposes. You can see here ornamental plants as well as plants of economic and medicinal importance. Here, with horticultural expertise and knowledge, plants are grown in open gardens and also inside lofty glass houses providing required growing conditions so that plants can grow well far from their native places. Throughout the Kew Gardens, more than 12,000 impressive trees are planted representing more than 2,000 species and varieties. We can see here 170 years old chestnut leafed oak tree, 285 years old English oak, 262 years old kinko tree, and few other important trees like monkey puzzle tree, sweet chestnut, tulip tree, and ulemai pine. The trees are looked after by a specialized team who monitors health and structure of the trees. The soils around the base of the trees are injected with mixture of air and beneficial fungi. In its arboretum and pinnatum, trees and shrubs are planted in groups according to their genera so that it will be easier for their comparison and research. Accordingly, areas are designated as holly walk, barberis dell, rhododendron dell, cherry walk, rose garden, bamboo garden, redwood grove, etc. The viewer also can see here trees of many other species like oriental plain, atlas cedar, Chinese cedar, willow-leafed pear, etc. 
There is also a natural area at Kew with plants from across the world. In Kew's glass houses, we can see plants from rainforest to cool arid desert and also from bright breezy mountain sides. First, let me show you the iconic palm house inside which we can observe enormous variety of tropical plants from some of the most threatened environments in the world. You can see here rubber tree, African oil palm, cocoa, mahogany, coffee, pepper, sugarcane, vanilla, banana including wild natives, rotons and bamboo, cycads, etc. In temperate house, we find frost tender plants from Central and South America, New Zealand, Australia, Asia, South Africa and islands around the world including St. Helena. It houses 10,000 plants of 1,500 species including rare and threatened plants like woods, cycad, St. Helena olive, etc. In the Princess of Wales Observatory, where we can see plants in 10 climatic zones, we can find here cacti, bromeliads, orchids, carnivorous plants, mangrove, etc. The water lily house holds the beautiful Santa Cruz water lily and sacred lotus. In another glass house called Davis Alpine House is the home of bulbs and plants from mountain ranges and arctic shorelines. In Bonsai House, we can see captivating miniaturized trees. Q horticulturists grow and care to conserve world's most precious and rare species to prevent biodiversity loss. Some of such displayed specimens we could see inside the glass houses, few are extinct in wild like uh, St. Helena Redwood, Alula Golden Fuchsia, Angel's Trumpet. We could also see few critically endangered species like Capsehoop Cycad, St. Helena Gamud, St. Helena Ebony, Robinia Murai, Blue Amaryllis, Granite Banksia, Pygmy Rwandan Water Lily. We also saw Maiden's Quiver Tree, Euphorbia Obesa, which are endangered in nature. Q also has more than 8 million preserved specimens in its herbarium and fungarium. Digitization of these specimens are going on and as per their program, it is expected to be completed in March 2026. This database will be available freely to the researchers around the world to address climate change and habitat degradation problems. It has also DNA Bank, Economic Botany Collections, Millennium Seed Bank, Extensive Library and Archive Collections which support important scientific works related to plants and fungi. Q's Millennium Seed Bank houses seeds of more than 48,000 plant species collected in 190 countries and territories with its partner organizations. These seed sources can be explored for useful plant characters and to produce plants for restoring damaged habitat. For future food security, Q has worked with Global Crop Diversity Trust to protect, collect and to produce seeds of the wild relatives of 29 important food crops including banana for developing new varieties which will grow under variable weather conditions and will be resistant to disease and pest. Q is also conserving and studying the wild relatives of current crops along with overlooked and underutilized food and energy plants. For example, a wild banana species called false banana, Ancete ventricosum, which is found in Sikkim, is being explored by Q scientists with its partners as a crop to help fight rising food insecurity across Africa. Its stem and roots are edible, which can be used to prepare bread-like food. Its fruit contains seeds and not edible. Q's conservation work is outstanding. Q scientists saved two important species, namely pygmy water lily of Rwanda and Cape Meron of Rodriguez from the brink of extinction. They have also secured future of Ulema pine by successfully propagating and conserving it. Q scientists also conduct conservation assessment and allot species to categories defined by IUCN. 
Kiu is also working with Plant Life International in the tropical countries to identify areas important for conservation of threatened plants and habitat and areas of exceptional plant richness for long-term conservation measures by respective authorities. Government of these countries should come forward for such great causes for the benefit of mankind. Q also offers training in conservation techniques and habitat restoration. It has extensive teaching program to equip next generation to manage and use the world resources sustainably. Thus, Q is not just a famous public recreational site, but it plays important scientific role for the benefit of humanity. Thank you.